Hey what's the word players, Frosty Faustings is coming up soon and I'm going to be competing in a few games. I'm going to be doing Street Fighter 5, King Fighters 15, DNF Duel, and Multi Blood Type Lumina. Really excited and admittedly I'm also a little bit nervous, but the whole thing should be fun. Ideally what I should be doing is I should be practicing ahead of time, but uh, I gotta admit, practice is not one of my strong suits when it comes to fighting games. And here's the reason why. When I first started getting into fighting games, it's about the mid-2000s, not much of an arcade scene, at least in the states, and I didn't really play fighting games with other people, maybe Smash Brothers here and there, but mostly fighting games were a single player affair. So a lot of stuff I just kinda had to learn and figure it out on my own. It wasn't until YouTube came along, where I started watching high level Virtual Fighter 5 matches, and it wasn't until games started going online that I was able to play games with other people. But I was so very much used to playing games by myself, which nothing wrong with that. But there comes a point where in order for me to improve and get better at fighting games, I'm going to have to do the dreaded thing and learn frame data. Frame data can be intimidating. In fact, I want nothing to do with frame data because seeing all those numbers scared me. But once you get into it, it's actually not as bad as it seems on the surface. And it's one of those things that can be a huge help for you. For example, I'm getting into King of Fires 15, and on my team, one of the characters that I main is Iori. So here's Iori's frame data in King of Fires 15. As you can see, there are moves that put him in plus or minus, or advantage or disadvantage. Certain moves that you want to keep an eye on are moves that put you in a lot of advantage and moves that put you in a lot of disadvantage. So for example here, the thing that sticks out to me is Yuri's 2D, which is a hard knockdown move. As you can see, on hit is plus 15, which is good, but it's also minus 15 if it's blocked. So uh, you can't be throwing it out because you will get punished for it. So that's an obvious example. You don't need to go into frame data to see that this is an unsafe move. But then you start to get into the nuances. Take for example, Iori's target combo, his 6A to A. If I have an opponent that knows that my move is negative six, it doesn't matter if I try to beat them to the punch by you know, throwing out another move. If they throw a move that's negative five or quicker, it's always gonna beat me. You know, if I try to mash out a move right after I land this combo. It's one of those things where you might not need to know every single property of every single move that a character has, but it's good to know moves that you're going to use pretty commonly, what's the pros and cons to using them. So that's just one example to hopefully illustrate that fighting games are a fun genre to get into, to press buttons and just have fun with friends and strangers. But you can also get a lot more out of them when you take the time to sit down and read. In this case, frame data. And reading is definitely something that Christians should be doing. Reading the Bible, I mean. Which, let's talk about that. As Christians, we definitely need to be reading our Bibles if we call ourselves Christians, because this is our foundation. Just as my approach on fighting games used to be to feel things out and kind of guess in my head what might be plus or minus on block, with Christianity, it's way too easy to just carry on our days and just kind of guess about how to live our lives because we can go, well, this feels right or that seems like a good thing to do or that's pretty bad and we can just carry out judgments. But there's a difference between what's our opinion and what seems right and what is actual truth. So it's totally clear that as Christians, we need to be reading our Bibles, but it's also more to it than just that. We need to do what the Bible says. Going back to fighting games for a moment, it can be so easy to get caught up in knowing the numbers, knowing what's plus or minus, knowing the terminology, watching your replays, analyzing online matches, and yet when it comes to an actual match, still get completely bodied. And the difference is, there's so much that you can learn but it's a different story when you have to apply to an actual match where things can change. You have to adapt. There's so much that can happen in a split second in a match. And when it comes to Christianity, the same thing applies. Circling back to Christianity, it's vitally important that we read our Bible. 
that's super important. But it's also important that we do what the Bible says. It's so easy to just read it, but it's another thing to have it applied to our lives. There's a scripture in James 1 where he uses the analogy of a mirror. I'm going to read a portion of that scripture. James 1, starting at verse 19, where he says, My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. Therefore, get rid of all moral filth and evil that is so prevalent and humbly accept the word planted in you which can save you. Now this is the part that I really wanted to hone in on. Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like someone who looks at his face in the mirror and after looking at himself goes away and immediately forget what he looks like. But whoever looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues in it, not forgetting what they have heard, but doing it, they will be blessed in what they do. Life gets pretty crazy, regardless of if you're a believer or not. And so it's very important that when life gets crazy to be able to fall back on the foundation that God sets up for us, because that's the true test of your faith. So don't just read, also do. And that's gonna be it for this video. Let me know what you thought. If you're in the fighting games, how do you feel about frame data? Is it something that you love analyzing or is it something that you completely stay away from? If you're looking for a non-dominational church, down in the description below will be a link to our church locator. If you're interested in studying the Bible or you just wanna hang out, link to my Discord also down below. Once again, thanks for watching. Hope you take care and until next time, peace.